today is a very auspicious day, appearance day of Srila Bhakti Saranga Gosai Maharaj, one of the dearest disciples of Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Gosai Thakur. Now we sang this song. So just briefly translation. Bhakti Thakur wrote, O oh Hari, when will that day be mine? When there will be awakenment of attachment to pure Vaishnava, Bhimala Vaishnava, no impurities there, no any other desires, only devotion to Krishna, then my other desires, arterial desires will also go away. And at that time, what will be inside me and outside will be same. I will not be crooked, duplicious. For the sake of some purpose, I will pretend or like, no, it will be same. And I will not have any desire to get respect from others and will give due respect to all. And all the time I will be absorbed in Krishna Sankirtan and Shri Krishna Smaran. That is all by the grace of pure devotee. All these bodily activities for maintenance, bathing and all these things necessary, I will do just like a habit, not much um, automatically it will go on. My mind will not be so much entangled. And I will be very much attached to all that is favorable for Krishna Bhajan. And what is unfavorable for Bhajan, that I will give up very strongly with determination. And I will worship Krishna, go on worshipping, then one day time will come when I will just give up this body. I will already realize I'm not this body, so it will be like taking off the cloth. So this is all possible by the grace of Bhimala Vaishnava. Bhakati Vinod, Bhakti Vinod, with this desire, he is staying in Godrun Deep, in the forest of Godrun, and always uh, anxious in heart to receive the mercy of the Lord or Vaishnava. He is crying there in the forest of Godrum in secluded place, always crying, anxious, forgetting the mercy of Prabhu, means either Vaishnava or Supreme Lord or both also. So one such Bimala Vaishnava appearance day is today. You will find some incidents in Srila Bharati Gosai Maharaja's book I am reading here from Bhaktivikash Sami's book. Uh, one sweltering summer day, two senior railway functionaries who were posted in Danbad arrived at Sri Chaitanya Mat in Mayapur. Rising from his seat under the jackfruit tree, Pinot Bihari Prabhu, that is Srila Kesha Gosai Maharaj later, welcomed them and arranged that they bath, honor Mahaprasad, and receive darshan of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. The two men were so impressed that each volunteered to send five rupees per month to the struggling mat and thenceforward visited regularly. When Srila Sarasati Thakur went to Dhanbad in 1921, he stayed in the residence of one of them, 
श्री अतुल चंद्र बांदोपाध्याय दैट मीन्स गोसाई महाराज लेटर ऑन सो इन हिज हाउस ही वॉज थिंग सून देर आफ्टर अतुला लेफ्ट हिज होम एंड फैमिली टू फुली सरेंडर हिज लाइफ इन सर्विस टू शिल सरस्वती ठाकुर एंड हिज मिशन द मातावासी वर परतर बाय दिस एज दे फेल डिपेंडेंट on his monthly donation and could not foresee managing without it atul babu told them not to worry atula a non practicing that is non initiating nitananda banksha caste gosami those who are coming from nitananda pru birchandra was his son then uh, he had three prominent disciples they were celebrated as his sons so from them that nita nitananda banksha and also to some nitananda ordered in dream uh, and like this so in that nitananda banksha but he was not like a guru in that nitananda banksha they are also saying those who are now that only those who are doing bhajan in a good way they can they are accepted to um, to continue this line not just anyone who is born in that family but one who is doing bhajan so he was soon given harinam and diksha with the name aprakrita bhakti saranga gosami by designating him as aprakrita Shila Saraswati Thakur underlined that he was now a real Goswami, no longer in name only, like some surname, like everyone Goswami. But Goswami means one who has control over the senses, not just like a surname or in the family of Goswamis. So he told Aprakrita Goswami. Shila Saraswati Thakur also dubbed him. nitananda banksha vatangsha ornament of the nitananda banksha and even though he had not formally taken sanyas within the goriamat he was generally known as gosami maharaj or more formally as aprakrita prabhu or bhakti saranga prabhu because he got that Gaur Ashirbat Bhakti Saranga. He soon began soliciting donations from pious merchants, and by his efforts, truckloads of grains, vegetables, and other commodities began arriving at the mat. You will find in Shila Bharati Maharaj's book. He gave many incidences how he was collecting in a very interesting way. Bhakti Saranga Gosami was a dynamic preacher with tremendous presence and aplomb. This I don't know what is aplomb. One second. It takes some time to open. His collection techniques were legendary, as he sometimes employed tricks and sometimes instilled fear in potential donors. You will find those examples in Bharati Maharaj. He could burst in unknown and unnoticed on a scenic and illicit a major donation. he was the driving force behind the securing of several plots of lands for establishing mats in various places for some time shrimad bhakti pradeep tirtha gosai maharaj and he regularly traveled together as a powerful preaching duo shri hari pad vidya ratna and he were the first co-editors of the weekly gauria and in 
1321 in Bengali here. Gosami Maharaj was appointed the Gauriya Sampadak Sangha Sabha Party, chairman of the Gauriya Editorial Board. In October 1936, Gosami Maharaj was sent to England, being designated missionary in charge of preaching in Europe and America. At the Saint of Ceremony in Calcutta, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati praised him as qualified, learned, expert in practical activities, of respectable lineage, and above all, seriously endeavoring in devotional service. That time also Prabhupada told him, if you find any sincere soul, you give him initiation. During the presence of Prabhupada, he already told him this. After Srila Sarasati Thakur's departure, Gosai Maharaj took sannyas with the name Tridandi Sami Srimad Bhakti Saranga Gosai Maharaj. He took sannyas from Srila Bhakti Raka Kshidardev Gosai Maharaj. And in the beginning, Shidhar Maharaj himself told, some people, they approached him for initiations, but at that time he was not giving, so he was telling, I have full trust in Gosai Maharaj. You go to him, you take from him. They were very closely in, uh, connected, and in Mayapur, from our mat, if you go little right, you will find Nandan Acharjo Bhavan, the place where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nitananda Prabhu first met. And Advaita Acharya also hid in that place, and Mahaprabhu also one time hid in that place, a very important place. That place was revealed by Srila Bhakti Rakakshidar Dev Gosai Maharaj, but he gave that place to Gosai Maharaj to, to make a temple there and preach there. Uh, that was in early days. Atul Krishna Datta, the other gentleman who had accompanied Atul Chandra on their first visit to the Mat, was initiated on the same day as a Prakrita Prabhu, receiving the name Atindriya Das and later decorated with the title Bhakti Gunakar. He pleased Srila Sarasati Thakur by compiling the well-known Gauriya Kantahar, an anthology of important verses from various Shastras. That book is there. And for different tattvas, Vaishnava tattva, Guru tattva, Jiva tattva, all, there is, they, they are like um, sections, and if you enter, then you will find all shlokas from different scriptures, Gita, Upanishad, Puran, all collected on that tattva so that you can have evidence if you speak. So this is from this book, and there was one article in, uh, now it opened, aplomb means self-confidence or assurance, especially when in a demanding situation. So that was his quality. Uh, one article was published in uh, Dainik Nodia Prakash magazine of Prabhupada in 1929 by Srila Sarasati Goswami Thakur. He himself wrote about his own disciple. The title is A Gene Wine Goswami. In the great land of Bharata, that is India, from distant Kashmir, near the high peaks of the Himalayas, to the banks of the in Indian Ocean, who does not know Bhakti Saranga Prabhu? See how with affection he is. From up India, Kashmir, Himalaya, there, to the Indian Ocean, that is down, who does not know 
Bhakti, Bhakti Saranga Prabhu. Shri Bhakti Saranga Prabhu is the brightest jewel in the lineage of Shri Nitananda Prabhu. His detachment is the full manifestation of the path preached by Shri Nitananda. Although he adheres to the scripturally ordained duties of a householder, he is a genuine Goswami and naturally detached from everything unrelated to Krishna. Every quality, every quality appreciating servitor in Sri Chaitanya Math means those who are appreciating the qualities in others, don't see the faults, but appreciating quality. So every quality appreciating servitor in Sri Chaitanya Math and the 28 primary maths of Sri Gauriya Math greatly respects him. At that time, there were 28. It came later on up to 64. Every Gauriya preacher and the numerous supporters of the Tridandi preachers from the ocean to the Himalayas throughout the land of the Aryans and the South know of Sri Bhakti Saranga Prabhu's eloquence and capability in Sanskrit, English and Bengali. Nearly every single fortunate resident of Gora has seen more or less his holy character, his pure heart's ecstasy, his earnestness for Krishna, and his profound love for Sri Gaurasundar. With his assiduousness, this also I don't understand, I will open. With his assiduousness, his constant all rounded endeavors from dawn until midnight for the benefit of the society of Gauriya Vaishnavas, his unparalleled spirit of dedication to Krishna and his devotees, he is fulfilling his name Atula, means unparalleled. Assiduousness. Assiduous means showing great care and perseverance. That is the meaning. So, with his assiduousness, his constant, all rounded endeavors from dawn until midnight for the benefit of the society of Gauriya Vaishnavas his unparalleled spirit of dedication to Krishna and his devotees, he is fulfilling his name, Atula, which means unparalleled. He has wiped away the moon's imperfections, moon has some spots there, and replaced them with the immense light from the moon of Krishna Prema's soul path. Thus, by reproaching even the pleasant, shining moon, his position as the unparalleled moon, means Atula Chandra, amongst Gaura Chandra's exclusive followers, has been realized. He is the teacher of worshipable Vaishnavas. He is the sole reformer of the Rishi's laws. His heartfelt endeavors are the enlivening energy of Sri Chaitanya Math's Institute for Spiritual Education, means Paravidya Pit. He is a genius amongst the Gosamis and himself is a genuine Gosami. The pure devotees have heard that he is renowned to be Bhakti Saranga. 
the embodiment of the essence of devotion. On account of his expertise and excellence in devotion, seeing the beauty of the holy lotus feet of this great transcendentalist, the world of pure Vaishnavas is enchanted. He is the secretary of the Sri Vishwa Vaishnava Ratsava. He is one of the editors of Sri Gauri Amat's Srimad Bhagavatam. Prabhupada published with the commentary of Vishwanacha Karuti Thakur, that is whole Bhagavatam, and in some places uh, also there are included Jiva Gosami's commentaries because he did not give to all verses commentary. And in the 10th canto, uh, Sanatan Gosami's commentary is also included because Sanatan Gosami gave only to 10th canto. So that was published by Prabhupada. Uh, so he was one of the editors for this publication. He is an exemplar in the world of the pure Vaishnavas, a follower of the Sri Rupanuga Vaishnavas, and thus worshipable to the world. So you see, his own guru is speaking about him like this. Like someone is teacher in school and he's teaching and some student, he gets all knowledge. So teacher is very happy and he's praising. And he's also qualified to be teacher also in the presence of his teacher because he already got that knowledge. That is not pride, but by his grace, that is why Prabhupada, he sent him to London to preach and he told him, you can initiate there also. And then another one from one place. Shila Bhakti Saranga Gosai Maharaj was by birth a member of the Nityananda Bhamsha, the family of Nityananda Prabhu. His previous name was Atula Chandra Gosami. After the disappearance of Prabhupada Srila Sarasati Thakur, he took sannyas from Srila Bhakti Rakak Shidardev Gosai Maharaj. He was the first to take sannyas from Guru Maharaj. Means this article is written by one disciple of Srila Shidar Maharaj. Srila Bhakti Saranga Gosai Maharaj opened 22 temples. And among those temples are some very important tirtas such as Imlitala in Brindavan, and the Acharjo, Nandana Acharjo Bhava at Sridham Mayapur. You know, in Brindavan, near Jamuna, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to chant Harina until noon time, sitting under Imli tree and seeing Jamuna and chanting on Japamala. So there he made this temple. It is still there. So when he was sent to England, he met with the king and queen at Buckingham Palace. In 1937, Gosai Maharaj attended the World Congress of Faiths at Oxford as the representative of the Hindu faith, and he delivered a wonderful address at that Congress glorifying the Hare Krishna mantra. So I will read now Maybe this is only one part of that uh, speech, what he told. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The nomenclature of the Absolute has been put in this rhyme as Krishna. Krishna literally means that most beautiful personality who attracts all beings and gives joy. This is his original English. 
the forum of Krishna is his inconceivable, simultaneous, personal and impersonal, self-contradictory form. True devotees see that form in their purified hearts under the influence of devotional trends, that is Samadhi. Ram is his other name, conveying the idea of his being perpetually engaged in his transcendental rebels with his excellent servitors led by his consort called Hara or Radha. Radhika Raman Ram, one who is doing lilas with Radharani, or one who pleases Radharani. That is Radhika Raman Ram in Mahamantra. These three holy words, Hare, Krishna and Rama, have been repeated over and over again, addressing the divine couple in a systematic order, which is realized by pure devotees when, by the grace of the name, they see the Lord in their hearts of hearts, with the eye of devotion tinged with the salve of divine love, the seed of which is planted in the soul through these holy words by the Guru. An absolute realized soul who is authorized to act as a divine intermediary, medium between God and Jiva, that is Guru. So Guru, when he initiates into this Mahamantra, then he is planting that seed of divine love. And when one manifests that, then by the eyes of the divine love, he can see this divine couple chanting Mahamantra. The seed of devotion that is implanted in the soul by the mercy of the Guru and the Supreme Lord, if properly watered by the hearing and chanting of these holy words, sprouts forth into a tender creeper of devotion, which by her progressive growth enables us to transcend the successive planes of one the mundane sphere of active opposition to the absolute. So we want to enjoy this world. We are very active for enjoyment. So that is active opposition to Krishna. Then to Biroja, that is Biraja or Nirvana, the sphere of universal skepticism. Then these Buddhists, they are there. Three, Brahma Loka, that is that Brahma Jyoti, or the sphere of dim reflection of transcendental knowledge. Till finally we come face to face to the most beautiful personality of Krishna, who is identical with his name forum, attributes, activities, and entourage. So if you water that creeper, then you will transcend all this and finally meet Radha Krishna. The Hare Krishna rhyme of holy words is the visualized symbol of the revealed transcendental sound originating from the holy lips of Krishna, the primary source of all gurus, all transcendental authorities, or means of obtaining divine knowledge. 
He is the eye of eyes and the illuminator of sight and other sense organs. This is from uh, Kena Upanishad. There this is explained. Without him, you cannot see, you cannot do it. By his presence, you can. This is from Upanishad. As the hub is the center of the spokes of a wheel, uh, in Slovenian language, spokes to mean spice per kulesu tist kaso. As the hub is the center of the spokes of a wheel, hub is center. So Krishna is the eternal core of created beings, including Brahma, the creator of this world, who first heard the holy words and realized their meaning. The drops of truth, T capital, drops of truth, forming the stream of the divine sound, which flowed in disciplic order through the ears, hearts, and lips of Narad, who is Brahma's disciple, and Vyas, who is Narad's disciple, to the present gurus, so you see how he is writing uh, from realized platform. So that divine sound which flowed in the cyber through the ears, hearts and lips to the present gurus, the reservoirs of pure drinking water to quench our spiritual thirst. Mm. Our spiritual thirst will be quenched by drinking this pure water. Shruti reveals herself through Guru. Shruti means Upanishad. They are persons. 108 Upanishads are there. 10 are prominent principle. But, you know, Upanishads, they are persons and they are eternal and they also entered Vrindavan and accepted the Anugatya following of gopis and got service of Krishna in, in Braja also. So here Maharaj is telling, Shruti reveals herself through Guru, the divine transparent agent, to sincere souls purified by the transcendental sound. The basis upon which religion is built and the root from which it grows. That is Shabda Brahma, our Gurudev translated as sound god. God in the form of sound, sound god. That is Shabda Brahma. So Shruti, they're coming from him, the transcendental sound their basis of religion and the root from which it grows. So Shruti reveals herself through Guru because there you will find in maybe Shweta Shvatar Upanishad, I forgot, I think. Yasya Deve Parabhakti Yato Deve Yasya Deve Parabhakti Jatha Deve Tatha Guru Tasete Katita Hi Arta Prakashante Mahatmana. If one has devotion to Supreme Lord and same devotion to Guru, then the meaning of Shastra will be revealed to him. You cannot know otherwise. By intellect, by material experience, by guessing, by imagination, or no. no. Not possible. You have to receive that revelation through surrender, through devotion. These holy words are known as the Mahamantra, greatest rhyme of transcendental sound, by which the sacrifice of the chanting of the Lord's holy name is to be performed. 
this Maha Mantra is used in this Iron Age, means Kali Yuga, as the transcendental escalator to transport us up to God. See how he is uh, nicely explaining. This Maha Mantra takes us back to our eternal home, away from this world of tribulations where we have been caged due to having misused our free will at the outset, in the beginning. That is the, our mistake. But now, uh, there we go. So we are now averse to the loving service of the Lord, which is the proper function of all individual souls. Proper function of all individual souls is loving service of the Lord, but now we are averse. The Lord eternally manifests himself in the form of the name through the medium of his plenary servitors, means those who are empowered by him, the gurus, for the deliverance of fallen souls, as we have no access to the spiritual world through our empiric knowledge, means this worldly knowledge. So you see how he is explaining in England about Muhammad. And there are other articles we were reading in previous years to other articles. It's very beautifully he's explaining from realized state and in very beautiful English. So then, one, one Lila happened, which I heard also many times from his grand disciple, Bhakti Prasad Sadhu Maharaj. He told me when he was here in Europe, I was with him, for one month. Almost every day he used to tell me this because he was getting new taste every time telling me this. That Srila Bhakti Saranga Gosai Maharaj was in that time not the Sanyasi. He was in London and he was preaching but he noticed that these people they have no faith in deity worship. They have no faith in deity. So how I will preach Mahaprabhu's teaching here? It is one part of Mahaprabhu's teaching to worship deity, but they are not. So how I will explain to them? Then he was crying in the night time to Prabhupada. Prabhupada, you send me here. I don't know how I can explain to them. They are not having faith in Diti and he was crying and all the time praying for the grace of Prabhupada. The next day when he was walking in a park nearby, then suddenly he saw, uh, there are two versions, this Maharaj told me under three, another version is in that, uh, line for water, he found Adokshaja Vishnu Diti. Adokshaja means one who is beyond the perception of senses, but he can manifest. Adokshaja, Vishnu, Murti, Diti. And he came there, he saw, is a self-manifested. Then that Vishnu told him, you don't worry, you just show me to them, then they will believe. You don't worry. So self manifest it there in London because Krishna is everywhere. He's omnipotent. He can do whatever he likes. So this happened to him in London. That, that Diti is maybe still there. In, that is why that Vasudev Gauriamat is named after him. Maybe it is still there or they took you to India, I don't know. But he appeared there, self-manifested. So this happened 
and also some money. Uh, he was not having any money then. Uh, someone sent, you will also find in Bharati Maharaja's book. Uh, and he initiated one Australian man there in London. And uh, this is also in Srila Bharati Maharaj's book, so I will read this is also in this uh, article here. Once Gosai Maharaj, he put pictures of Bhakti no Thakur and Prabhupada, Srila Sarasati Thakur, inside Srimad Bhagavatam. Then someone objected, how you can put these pictures in that book? This book is not different from Krishna. The man thought that this was some sort of offense to Srimad Bhagavatam. Gosai Maharaj, was very respected in Vaishnava society. So taking advantage of his position as a member of the Nitananda Prabhu Vangsha, he told that man, you consider me as a worshipable descendant of Nitananda Prabhu? That man said, yes, Gosai. Gosai Maharaj informed him, I have sold my head to the lotus feet of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur. Guru is to be seen as Radharani's delegation. And our Gurudev and his Guru, if their picture will be in the Bhagavatam, which is the holy body of Krishna, Krishna will be pleased. He will be pleased anywhere we put that picture. You understand me? And the man said, yes, Gosai, yes, Gosai, I have committed a big offense. So, in this way, he explained to him. And uh, when there was Bishwa Vaishnava Ratsava, Srila Bhakti Rakakshidar Dev Gosai Maharaj was elected as the president of the assembly, but he would give the chair to Gosai Maharaj. Shri Shidhar Maharaj would be elected and then he would install Gosami Maharaj. This is the affectionate, loving behavior of the disciples of Srila Bhakti Sarastakur Prabhupada. So, and there is also one famous picture. Uh, of Srila Sarasati Thakur and Sir John Anderson, the governor of Bengal, Englishman that time. So Sarasati Thakur is wearing a garland and John Anderson is wearing a garland, but Gosai Maharaj also in the picture is without garland. So once Srila Gobinda Maharaj asked Mah uh, to Gosai Maharaj, why you didn't have garland? Gosai Maharaj answered, all of the respectable personalities, they have garlands. What is the necessity that I shall have a garland? Then Govinda Maharaj further said, I think I know the reason why you don't have a garland. Gosai Maharaj replied, what do you know? Then Govinda Maharaj, I can understand that the man who was responsible for supplying the garland, he was late. So you took your garland and you offered it to Sir John Anderson. Then Gosai Maharaj said, Oh, now you are crossing Vishwana Chakravarti. Because Vishwana Chakravarti is always giving confidential details that are not obvious. Vishwana Chakravarti is extracting the inner meanings of things. So Sripad Gosai Maharaj detected that also in Srila Gurudev, that means Srila Shidhar Maharaj, and gave Srila Govinda Maharaj this high compliment. Yes. 
So here there is description of their relation, which is Shridhar Maharaj and Gosai Maharaj. So they were meeting. And when Srila Bhakti Saranga Gosai Maharaj would have his own Vyasa Puja, means today's day, he would invite Srila Siddhar Maharaj there and Siddhar Maharaj would come. And all the money, all donations and all offerings, whatever was given to Gosai Maharaj, he gave everything then to Srila Siddhar Maharaj after Vyasa Puja. So such is the Vaishnava behavior. So one year Srila Siddhar Maharaj could not come and someone asked how was the Vyasa Puja then he said this year it was not good because Srila Siddhar Maharaj didn't come. So, and Maharaj, he disappeared in 1962. So, that way. So, uh, you can find his Samadhi Mandir in Mayapur, in that Nandana Charja Bhavan, when you enter, left side if you go there is the first meeting place of Nityananda and Gaurango and further left you will find his Samadhi Mandir and Diti is there so very very nice last year also we were in previous years also we were reading his articles I like very much his articles in English originally so beautiful and very deep. So I'm remembering Srila Maharaj there in his Samadhi Mandir in Mayapur and bowing down to him and praying for his causeless mercy. Tomorrow we'll hear Bhagavatam.